Hello everyone, welcome to the 198 release video. Um, we wanted to hit on three fairly critical feature changes in 198, and then we will tell you about a few other things that you should be aware of. But first we'll look at the biggest change that we've made to the software. A major change in 198 is the action of the buttons, which will now operate on the down edge rather than the up edge. All button hits that are single presses continue to operate as they have before, so channel 1. Anything that was a double button hit, such as hitting sub twice to open the sub list, will also continue to work as it has before. But maintained button presses and combination button presses now require the use of the shift key. Shift is located in the lower left hand corner of the keypad and replaces the follow hang button. So for example, to toggle my displays, to show me palette numbers rather than labels, I press shift and hit the label key. I can release that and use the paging keys to page my displays accordingly. In a similar way, in 196, to do a quick save, you would have pressed update and select. In 198, shift and update will conduct the quick save. On a related note, we have made some changes to the way fader controls are released. In previous software releases, pressing release and load on a non-active cue list would release the content. This has been changed. So if I press go on a secondary cue list, release and load, it restores control to cue list one, but leaves that cue list loaded to the fader. If I actually want to remove that cue list entirely, we press shift and hit the load key. All of these changes are captured in the supplement and also on the community forums, there is a special document that outlines these keyboard changes. We've also changed the way submasters and queues can release content to previous owners. So for example, I have Q1, which sets channel one to 25%. I can bring up submaster one, which overrides to 50%, and then bring up submaster two, which sets that same channel to full. In the About window under Background, I can see that if I remove Submaster 2, Submaster 1 is going to regain control of that channel at 50%. And now I can see in the About window, if I remove Submaster 1, Q1 is going to regain control of that channel at 25%. It's also possible to set a queue list or a submaster so that it cannot become a background state. So for example, if I knew that Submaster 1 was a look that I was going to only use once and not want to come back to, I can set Submaster 1 for background disabled. And now if I run the same sequence where Q1 is controlling channel 1, bring Submaster 1 to 50, take control of channel 1 on Submaster 2, and now I can see in my About window, if I remove Submaster 2, the light is going to return to Q1, not to Submaster 1, which had been in control of it previously. This is setting the background state to enable or disable. Another new option for Submasters is setting a Submaster so that rather than returning control to the background, you can actually set control to the minimum value for that channel. So if we take Submaster 1 and set it to Restore to Minimum, when I bring Submaster 1 up, it will set the value to 50%. But on the down action of the Submaster, rather than returning control to cue list 1, it's actually going to fade that light to its minimum value. We have changed the behavior of highlight and low light in 198 and also added another option for remainder dim commands. So if you look in the setup menu under desk settings, manual control, there are now two rim dim selections. There's a highlight rim dim and a live rim dim level. These values can be disabled or they can have a straight numeric value or you can put presets in them. If a preset is defined as a RIMDIM value, any channels not included in the preset will not be impacted by the remainder DIM command. The low light preset 
is now intended for channels that are in my group selection but are not currently specified for highlight control. For example, if we go to live, if we go into highlight mode, select group one, and then specify the first channel of that group, which is channel 71. Channel 71 is currently in highlight mode. It is the selected channel. 72 to 78 are not currently selected and they are doing the instructions that are coming from the low light preset, which was to set the values of those channels to 20%. As I advance forward through my channel selection, channel 72 is now using all of my highlight values, and channel 71 is in the value recorded in the low light preset. So there are some other changes in 198. You'll want to read the release note and the supplement. Uh, but just to briefly mention them, we have added startup and shutdown macros for the system. We've added a favorite selection for the CIA. Um, some changes to go to queue, including go to queue out on a queue list specific basis, go to queue home to reset to the first queue of your selected queue list, and some syntax extensions for recall from and also using select active. So you'll want to check out those documents. On the internet, you will find a shortcuts document for all of the keyboard shortcuts that have changed with the shift key addition, um, as well as all the documentation for 198. Thanks very much.